So after five years, I have noticed a lot of things. But one thing I have noticed that really stood out is how Dominicans and black Americans have a lot of stuff in common. Here's five things that stood out to me since I've been living here. This gonna be a good one, y'all. <laughs> so everybody knows we come in all different colors from light skin to brown skin to red bone. To uh, black, to midnight black, to uh, under the bed black, to undefeated hide and go seek midnight black. I've seen all colors, but let's go deep. Let's get started. Number one, I liked it back in the day when I was 18, 19, 21 years old, but today I don't like it. Number one is playing loud music. Black Americans love playing loud music. I got 612, I got 612. I got a lot of people wanna steal my... <sighs> anyway, Dominicans love playing loud music. They got speakers on top of speakers in the trunk, behind the trunk, on top of the car, all of that stuff, playing loud music three, four, five o'clock in the morning. So that is the truth. I'm about to give y'all the truth. That's number one, loud music. Blacks and Dominicans have that in common. Damn, my medication finna kick in. I'm trying to go to sleep. Oh, number two, number two, number two. This one makes me smile. The barbershops, they argue, fight, get loud, stop cutting hair for 15, 20, 30 minutes work on one person for an hour and a half, getting into conversations, going outside, shooting dice, doing the whole nine yards. Is this all Dominican barbershops and black barbershops? No, but I'm talking about for the most part, when you go to a black or Dominican barbershop, you're gonna hear a lot of loud noise, a lot of loud talking, a lot of talking shit, a lot of pointing their hands. Ah, uh, mm. That's number two. This is so true. So, so true. We are all athletic. We can dance, we can play baseball, we can play basketball, we can do it all, we can do everything. So, we have that in common. That's that African blood through and through and through and through. We can start a basketball team over here and in 10 years it'll be professional. Nah, Dominicans are a little shorter than uh, regular blacks in the in the United States. I don't know why, why is that? Anyway, that's number three. Number three, we are all athletic. Woo, we, we athletic. We can dance, we can do backwards flips, we can jump off the top of everything. We can do it all. We can hit home runs, we can run fast, we can do it all. Who's that white man that said black people got extra muscle in their body? Anyway, that's number three. All right, number four, Dominicans and Blacks, we make things work. We put stuff together, we make stuff, we invent stuff, we do it all. We, uh, uh, I watch these Dominican kids, they, they, they make a ball and they, they play baseball and they use tape and they use an old tire and all of that stuff. So Dominicans and Blacks, we are very good at that, putting shit together when you don't have nothing. It's just, uh, it's a good feeling, playing kick the can. We done it all. I see them doing it over here, taking a tire and pushing it down the street and jumping on top of it and flipping and all kinds of stuff. You see people putting big screen TVs on, on, on cars and motorcycles and, and all kinds of stuff. You just see everything. They putting washing machines on top of motorcycles and they just make stuff work. And it just reminds me of being back home and these, people do whatever they need to do to uh, to make a living, to make it, to make it work. It's a lot of poor people in the world, in the Dominican Republic and in the United States. Well, our poor is different. Our poor in the United States is totally different from the Dominican poor. It's a lot of poor people in the world and they make things work. So shout out to all the Dominicans and blacks that's just getting it in, making it work. Dominicans and Blacks, 
we have that in common. Let's go to number five. All right, number five, we have to go back in time for number five for black folks, black Americans, but Dominicans are still doing it. They are helping one another out. They are giving back. They are just supporting one another. The food, the whole nine, you name it, the camaraderie, the love and all of that stuff. I'm sure we have it in small pockets of the United States, but that is number five. Hey y'all, this is my final thought. I really enjoy putting this video together, but all races have their issues and all races have their positives and their negatives. Uh, you know, you, you got some races that like going in and blowing up people and killing everybody before they go. You know, that's a problem, that's a negative. But I love my black people. I love my black bloodline, my African bloodline. I love it, I love it, I love it. So keep it going. Shout out to all my African Dominican people and my black people. God bless me, peace be still. Residential Catalea has one, two, and three bedrooms beachfront suites. Call or text the Dominican route today for a $5,000 discount on your purchase price. Everything is turnkey for you. We will take you step by step in purchasing your beachfront property in the Dominican Republic. You can use it to live in, rental, Airbnb, or just a summer getaway home. These beautiful properties are located in Guayacanes, Dominican Republic. 20 minutes from the airport in Santo Domingo, call or text today on WhatsApp 225-409-8806. Don't procrastinate on these beautiful beachfront properties. Reach out now.